This is Veronica Morningstone for the Dan Wetzel Podcast. We're here to break down the East region of the upcoming NCAA tournament. I'm joined by fake Dan Beebe, the fake Twitter account of former Big 12 Commissioner Dan Beebe. I repeat, this is a fake. Also we have superfan Michael Rudolph, named the funniest man in Cincinnati, which is akin to being named the MVP of the Ivy League tournament. Mr. Fake Dan Beebe, we will start with you. Your thoughts on the East? Veronica, it's ugly. Apparently it was set up by the NCAA with the thought that, hey, teams are getting a little out of hand with all this scoring. Per FCC rules, East regional games will appear only on that one channel nobody gets. Not the Longhorn Network, the other one. Actually, Veronica, the Cincinnati and Texas matchup really caught my eye. Then it punched me in the face when I wasn't looking. Mick Cronin will be on the edge of his booster seat for this one. The East features Wisconsin after all. And I suppose watching Wisconsin basketball isn't that much different than forensic files. Someone's wishing death on someone. I certainly can't pick a winner because there are no real winners when someone actually has to watch Wisconsin. Wisconsin plays Montana. The game should feature the most white fans since the 1965 NCAA tournament. I actually spoke with a majority of Montana's season ticket holders, and both of them think first team to 28 wins. Veronica, lest you think we have nothing good to say about Wisconsin. I admire the fact that Wisconsin hired a head coach that looks like their mascot. If there was a team, called the Handsome Gentleman, perhaps I'd have a new calling in life as a coach myself. Well, indeed, Mr. Fake Dan Beebe, you would. Now, Michael, your thoughts on Gonzaga against West Virginia? This, here is a classic matchup of Cinderella, versus some chick you met at a gas station, named Cinderella. This may not be your uncle brother's stepdad's mountaineers, but they can still get it done. Naturally, I took Gonzaga. I don't know how strong they're brewing the moonshine over in Morgantown but any school that's getting swindled, by that decrepit old monster Chuck Nainas, deserves to be sent back to the coal mines. Michael, how about South Florida against Kansas State? I don't care how well USF has been playing as of late, I'm not picking them over KSU, because I'm afraid of Frank Martin. And Mr. Fake Dan Beebe, judging by your fondness for Danny Dan Drank, You must have forged a relationship with Larry Eustacey during his Iowa State days. Yes, yes, how I miss Larry. He taught me how a man in charge can keep it real and still get down. Of course, I was smart enough to never party with those backstabbing mouth breathers in Missouri. Now, Veronica, what do you say you come back to my place? We turn on the East Regional, quickly get bored and switch it to a game from a real region. Or maybe we just get down ourselves. Professionalism please Mr. Fake Dan Beebe. This is Veronica Morningstone, signing off until next time.